So I'm sat here on a sunny winter's afternoon in the UK. Uh, I live in a small town called Ditcot, which isn't very far away from, from Oxford. And uh, I've been wanting to make this clip for, for quite some time. But every time I make the clip, I always find something, something wrong with it. Something that I think either needs a bit more editing or a bit more work on it. And then the thought came to me where I thought to myself, well, if that's going to be the case, it will never be ready. It will never be just natural the way that I actually want to say it. And um, so I thought to myself, well, I'll, uh, I'll just do it. And here I am. What I want to talk about a little bit is uh, fear. Fear that holds us back. Fear of many things. And as I was walking from town this morning, I thought about my past and things that happened and things that subconsciously, without you realizing it, hold you back. And even though you think that you have got rid of it, so to speak, it isn't always the case because there's always that little bit of something holding you back. I'm in a very good place in my life right now where things for the past couple of years have been very smooth and very um, just great really. I mean, I'm not necessarily in a job that I love, but I have immense gratitude for the job that I do have. And, and not just that, I think in the economic climate that we're in, you know, that if you view it differently, the job that you have, and you see it as a stepping stone as to something better and something temporarily, because everything at the end of the day is temporarily, every little thing. And uh, I was thinking to myself as I was walking, how much fear can hold you back? Fear when it comes to just different areas of our life. Uh, I know one of the things for me, there was a few, uh, was always working out, uh, making the choice to actually work on my body. Uh, when I was much younger, I was um, satellite with uh, petrol. Um, and uh, I remember that that held me back for a very long time in my life. I, uh, I remember specifically when we would go swimming uh, during my school days that I would always be the, the last one or the first one to just jump in. Uh, but with my shirt on because I was so self-conscious. And how even though as I grew older and all of that had went and passed and how it was still there, uh, the comments, you know, the things people would say, the things that we actually carry with ourselves. And, and the thing that I've learned this past few years, uh, having read The Secret, The Power, um, I'm busy reading a fantastic book written by, I think it's Dee Wallace, and um, also with fantastic things like the... Uh, Oprah's life class, which I think is starting again in, in, in March. All of these things, I think, contribute to a better understanding, a better understanding of who we are, uh, what we want, and I think what the common, uh, how do I put it, the bond between people at the end of the day is love. And I think everybody wants to feel accepted, everybody wants to feel loved, even though people might deny it. And the fear of not being loved, the fear of not fitting in, the fear of not being good enough. And um, when I was listening to uh, the um, speech um, that Kevin Costner did on, on Whitney Houston's funeral, or at Whitney Houston's uh, homecoming, it was interesting how he spoke about not feeling good enough and it made me think it made me think about 
the part of me not feeling good enough. And I'm not speaking about that lightly in the sense that it's just something that I'm saying. When I say that, it is actually an immense feeling that, you know, you carry with yourself since your childhood. And the things that I've learned is to let go. To whatever is negative, whatever is not a building, to let it go. You know, there's a difference between criticism and criticism. There's a difference between constructive criticism and, and then the one to just break somebody down. You know, actually, I work in a factory environment and yesterday I was talking, I'm really into photography and I'm, I'm really good at it, but there's so much that I still need to learn. And one of the guys that I respect so much walked up to the office and we were talking about the course that I'm doing right now with the photography and I remember years ago he made a comment and said well you'll never be good enough I just know you'll never be good enough and uh, I remember how that actually spurred me on and I said to myself I am going to be good enough uh, well I'm going to prove myself but then as years went by I had to realize that it wasn't just about proving to him it was more a thing of proving to me that I can do it and as we were talking he spoke about the course and said well you do realize that you'll only be a good photographer a couple of years from now and I went downstairs to him and I said you know what I said I need you to be a bit more encouraging I need you to be a bit more uplifting because I actually so respect what you say and so because um, he overall is, is a very kind, uh, warm, gentle, wise man. And I said, but at the end of the day, we need to, to be there for each other. We need to show the love. And I remember when Oprah was finishing her, uh, doing her last show, and uh, I'm pretty much sure it was the very, very last episode, she spoke about if there is one person that we can love, one person in a day, show the love, show gratitude, gratitude for what we have. There are many things in my life that I would like to be better. Um, like, I think there's always something that we want. But if you can focus on what you have and how much you're grateful for what you have, I think then the the whole focus shifts. And for me, it has really shifted. Um, there's a, a wonderful uh, scripture in the Bible. Now, I'm not much of a religious guy. I would say I'm more spiritual. But where it speaks of that he that fears in him, the love of God has not yet been how do I put it? I wouldn't say fulfilled, but completed. And that made me realize that in love, there is no fear. There is no fear. It's, it's like when you have parents that love you unconditionally, you know that whatever the circumstances might be, whatever, the, whatever it might be, that you will still be loved. And... That is something that I think we as people need to focus on more. The positive, less of the negative. Letting go of what you know you need to let go of in your life. Um, I think we all know. I think we all know in the back of our mind exactly what it is what we need to let go of. And um, I... Uh, I know that what I've said might not come across very much prepared, but I wanted it to be from the heart. And I'm sure that if I do another clip or another uh, video, that it will be better prepared. But what I want to say is if there's people out there like me 
that had to struggle with fear, let it go. Let it go. It's, it's much easier to let go than what you think it is. It is much, much easier. Let go of fear. Let it go. And move forward. Forget about yesterday. There is nothing you can do to bring yesterday back. Nothing. Nothing any of us can do. And don't try to, you know, tomorrow will see to itself. I mean, look to the future. Have a dream. Have a vision. But do in each day what you know you can do and what you know will better your day and your life. I thank you for your uh, for your time. I thank you for listening to this clip. And um, I wish you a lovely day. And uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll talk soon again. Take care.